Welcome to CH2, Australia's first purpose-built sustainable office building. Like a living organism, CH2 interacts with its environment to meet its needs. CH2 uses conventional and non-conventional ways of creating energy, water and cooling for use on site. The sun's energy is harnessed to create electricity and hot water. An on-site gas-fired cogeneration system provides up to 10% of the building's electricity needs. Natural light is abundant but not overwhelming. Windows are largest at lower floors where natural light is not as bright. Plants on the northern facade help to filter incoming light. Artificial lighting levels are only one third of the levels in standard office buildings. Each desk has its own task light if more light is needed. In warm climates, buildings spend more time in cooling mode than in heating mode. CH2's cooling system has four distinct phases. In Melbourne, night air is much colder than daytime air. At night, windows are open to cool down internal air and the thick concrete ceilings. In the morning, the concrete ceilings keep the internal air cool. These shower towers use evaporative cooling to cool down air and water. Water is cooled by being dropped 15 metres through the towers and as air falls with it, it is cooled by evaporation from the shower of water. The air is then used to cool the retail spaces on the ground floor. The cold water is used to cool down thousands of metal balls containing phase change material that can freeze at 15 degrees. These balls act like a battery for cooling energy and are used to cool down water that is then pumped into chilled beams and chilled ceiling panels. This water can then be recalled and reused. Unlike the first three phases, which use passive energy for cooling for up to eight hours, the fourth phase uses conventional energy towards the end of the day in summer to keep the building cool. Recycled wooden louvers on the western facade move with the sun to protect the building when the sun is at its hottest. CH2 has two complete fresh air changes every hour. Fresh air is drawn in on the roof and released through diffusers in the floor that can be controlled by the building occupants. As the fresh air warms, it slowly rises through the gaps in the ceiling and is channelled out of the building. If needed, these turbines are used to help draw air out of the building. Inside CH2, natural materials and recycled materials are used wherever possible. To ensure internal air is not polluted, materials are chosen only if they do not emit any harmful chemicals. CH2 works harmoniously with its surroundings to harvest light, water, energy and cooling. As a result, CH2 is able to use up to 80% less energy and 70% less water than conventional office buildings. Mm -hmm.